Hmm. You know, um, good morning, y'all. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, you know, what y'all think about this? Now, this is like the third time I've seen somebody step up and really say something about Oprah Winfrey that is really kind of disturbing to me. They talk about how fake she is and how she's compromised by white America, corporate America elite. That she speak out both sides of her deck. I don't know. I don't have. I, I, I don't know what y'all think. <laughs> Ruth Ruth McGowan believes that Oprah faked her support for the Me Too movement. I'm glad more are seeing the ugly truth of at Oprah. The charm alone, 47 tweeted, along with an old photo of the talk show host. Now 67 smiling alongside convicted rapist Harvey Weinstein. I wish she were real, but she isn't. She isn't at all. McGowan, an outspoken survivor of sexual assault, continued. From being pals with Weinstein to abandoning and destroying Russell Simmons' sick victims, she is about supporting a sick power structure for personal gain. She is as fake as they come. Weinstein's long list of alleged sexual assaults dating back to the 1970s was a catalyst for the Me Too movement in um, October 2017, with McGowan being one of the first dozens women to accuse him of rape. The disgraced film producer, who has denied ever having any non-consensual sex with anybody, was found guilty on two felony accounts in February 2020. Meanwhile, Russell Simmons has also been accused of rape and sexual misconduct by about 20 women. The music executive, 63, has denied the accusations and has kept a low profile in recent years, though he resurfaced in the Hamptons earlier this month. Well, Russell Simmons was not arrested. A man is innocent until proven guilty. Obviously, they don't have enough on him to bring him in. If he does, then they'll deal with that accordingly, and maybe, just maybe that's why Oprah didn't want to continue with the documentary. It appears that McGowan's tweets refers to Winfrey's almost involvement in a 2020 documentary tile on the record that centered on Simmons' alleged sexual misconduct. While the multi-hyphenate was originally on board to executive produce the project, she ended up backing out, citing differences with Film directors. Now, she didn't do the film on her friend Harvey Weinstein. She didn't do the film on Russell Simmons. And maybe, as far as Russell Simmons is concerned, because of the backlash she got about doing uh, the, the, the story on Michael Jackson, there's a great possibility because. At this point, the black community is pretty much, um, you know, really, really, really having a hard time with Oprah and where she stands. You know, as 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 being a a person that uh, you know, know people that went to school with Oprah when she was here in Milwaukee. Uh, you know, some of the stuff that they say about Oprah isn't, you know, very favorable about her always being one of the black girls who wanted to suck up to white people. But that's also because, you know, she recognized early who going to save her out of her condition. You know, and um, she liked to read. She liked to do a lot of things that a lot of black people 
don't like to do and you like to make fun of other black people because they do. So she got in where she fit in. Now, I don't know what to take on her not doing um a, a, a Harvey Weinstein because I would feel like just the way she did a expose concerning Michael Jackson, I think that she should do the same thing in all fairness and, and in all things showing balance. I would think that as a black woman, no matter what Harvey Weinstein did for you, if you can go there on Michael, you should go there on Harvey. Russell Simmons, not so much the case. He hasn't been arrested. He hasn't been tried. This is just accusations. People make accusations all damn day long. And just because you accuse somebody of something, that don't mean they did it. I'm saying that as a person that had been accused of something egregious. You don't just come. You, I, I had to go be put before my jury of my peers or evidence have to come in. You know, so I'm not going to be one that uh, tried to hang somebody before there's any evidence. And I think that might be what Miss McGowan want her to do regarding Russell Simmons. And so I can't get down on her for that. But what do y'all think about Oprah Winfrey and her um, unwillingness to say anything about Harvey Weinstein? I don't remember her saying anything about Bill Cosby. I got to look and see if I can pull up some stuff. So if she protected Bill Cosby or if she didn't make any comments about Bill Cosby and she's not making any about Harvey Weinstein, then that's balance. At least she's balancing her thought. But if she's coming out on Bill Cosby or just black men and not anybody that's white, then I will have a serious problem with that. And that's what I would say to Miss McGowan in terms of her saying Oprah is fake. I think that what Miss Monique said was something that relates to something totally different. And um uh, uh uh you know I can I can I can see the difference in terms of what Monique said and in terms of what this McGowan person is saying. Either way it go. Oprah, they're not leaving you out here in a good light. They're people saying you a snake. And I don't think that's very cool. So with that being said, how you defend yourself, woman? <laughs> if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe.